What's going on everybody? Chris C. the Slasher Dude back with another video. Happy Terror Tuesday. Hope everyone's having a great Terror Tuesday. Slasher Dude's birthday today. Thank you all very much for the love and support. Thank you all for the birthday wishes. Appreciate it. Slasher Dude is uh, 45 today. Putting in having a great Terror Tuesday. We're in the rocking gear here. We're all good to go. If you like what you see, go ahead and uh, go ahead and um, axe to the head that, uh, there we go, axe to the head the, um, the notification bell and stuff like that. If you like the content, if you like freaky, if you like geeky, if you like slashers, like myself, then um, yeah, go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe and uh, slash that like, ladies and gentlemen. Today's Terror Tuesday, we're going to be talking about Saw 10. Saw 10, done in 2023, last year. Uh, Tobin Bell, I forget the other uh, actress's name, the place, I believe her name is Sarah, from... Um, the first Saw, the second Saw, and then Saw 3, which is my favorite of the franchise. I really like this franchise. This takes place between 1 and 2. John Kramer, played by Tobin Bell, is going out to uh, get the, um, trying to find a way to cure his uh, cancer. It's pretty deep scene at the start. He's getting the brain scan and all this stuff, too. He asks how much time he has left. Um, they don't give him really a timetable, but they basically do. A patient, because they're going through the motions and all this stuff, too. They have groups to help deal with it and stuff like that, too. It's like, I have cancer. This other person in this group says, I have cancer. He sees him. I forget how much later. He's, like, cured. He's like, yeah, it's just a procedure. Shows a scar on his stomach. It's like these people are kind of against the grain, against Big Pharma. And um, he finds out about them. John does. And then he goes to uh, Mexico, where they're based at. There's this whole thing looks like it's a kidnapping and stuff like that. It's like in this mansion type place in Mexico way out there in the boonies. Like in this land. And then uh, the woman that runs this place says, yeah, we can help you. Uh, my father was really wanted to fight the good fight. Tells tells him about the procedure and all this stuff too. Of how they're doing. How they do it and stuff like that too. These introductory videos. This uh, This picture right here is a scene he ha kind of goes through his head like a dream sequence. So I found that kind of interesting here. Tobin Bell kills it, as always, as Jigsaw. He always has. It's John Kramer. He's one of my all-time favorite horror villains. He's up there. I know people don't like this franchise. It's like hit and miss with a lot of people. I love it. Um, I've, I like all the films for what they are. Of course, 3 is my favorite. This one is pretty good. I gave it uh, 3... Three out of five stars and, and a heart. The Slash Dude likes it a lot. The Slash Dude approves. I do like the ending. That's a good twist in the back. And um, I'll just do a little bit of spoiler. The Hoffman character pops up. There was supposed to be a new one this year. And then it was pushed back, I think, another year, 2026. One of those things. Um, I do like the twist at the end. He basically finds out that, yeah, these are dirty doctors. They don't know, you know, blank, capital S-H-I-T, about what they're doing. He finds out about it. He enlists her to help him, that character from the first and second one. The only thing that kind of brings this down is they are older. Of course they are. It's been, I forget, it's been close to a decade since the, the one and two of the franchise. Possibly more. I'm going to have to look the years in between these and stuff like that. Other than that, they play. I'm annoyed by her character a little bit. Sometimes they kind of force feed this stuff kind of down your throat. A little heavy-handed stuff in here. Other than that, I do love the twist at the end. Um, all in all, yeah, three three stars out of uh, out of five and a heart for the slasher dude. Personal review, about a six, a good uh, a mid six out of ten. It's a good saw one. It's a good uh, it's a good uh, callback to the original franchise and the character of John Kramer. And I love Tobin Bell as an actor. He just kills it all the time. He's what makes this film. Of course he is. So, uh, yeah, just a quick uh, thoughts and review on this uh, Terror Tuesday of Saw 2. Anyway, if you could, sleeping bag to subscribe, slash to like. Go on uh, Gorophobe's channel, a.k.a. Keith's. I'll put that info uh, down in the info bar. Don't vote for a horror YouTuber of the Month, of course, the birthday slasher dude here is one of the nominees. Uh, Ginger Ninja is another one. Just go on there, vote for whoever you want. This is a great horror community, and the slasher dude is uh, happy to be here. Anyway, you all have a great Terror Tuesday. I will see you awesome people next time. <laughs> I want to play a game.